It is nice today. 19 degrees. It's gonna be warm. We're here. We'll wait on you. How are the little buddies doing this morning? Not bad. Not bad. My mom gave us a few new signs to kind of decorate the fish house. Eat, sleep, fish, repeat. And then this one, that's kind of sappy. Come on, mom. Sun is starting to come up. We gotta get fishing. All right, I'm gonna run bobber to my left and then I'm gonna jig out of my right. All right, first fish of the day. Cute little walleye, look at that. I don't know if they freshly stock this lake or this is a, a grown up little fingerling. See you buddy, go get big. <laughs> I'm just jigging for bluegills and crappies close to the bottom. Little clam pro tackle drop jig with some Euro larva on the back. All right, let's see if we can get a bigger one. Wow, it's been it's been pretty dead for like a half hour, but I just popped this giant gill. This is a brand new spot I'm sitting in. What does he go? Oh, not quite nine and a half, but dang, he is tall. Wow. See you, buddy. Uh, right now I'm sitting in like 13 feet. In front of the shack is like nine feet with weeds on it. It's just a small hump. It falls off to 13 and then behind me is 15. So I'm basically just kind of sitting right off the break of this hump. And there is some weeds close by. So yeah, I'm going for whatever bites. I've got a set line down here with a crappie minnow on it. I know there's big crappies out here. But uh, yeah, there's there's definitely nice gills here too. So that's a, that's a bite in the right direction. All right, this morning, I think I'm gonna make a little skillet. Just an all-American breakfast. Two eggs. I already got a baked potato, but I'll probably dice those up. And from there, we got a special treat. Breakfast burger. This is actually pork. Uh, Steph's family makes it. It's awesome seasoning. And yeah, that's that's a special treat. So we'll kind of mix that in. That's our meat, that's our potatoes, that's our eggs. All right, while I am doing a little cooking, I'm gonna have a rattle reel down over here. I've got a fathead minnow about a foot off the bottom. And then over here, I just have a normal set line. Just a bobber rod with a crappie minnow. I hope there's some big crappies in the spot, but I haven't had any luck yet. Oh, did he just, come on. I don't know if that's just my minnow kicking or something actually tapped him. Come on. Huh. Either way, we'll keep an eye on him. For now, we gotta cover the TV.
<laughs> so this past weekend, Steph, uh, my pals, and I, we did a bunch of fishing. Um, some out in the portables uh, and some in the hard house. Friday night, we, uh, we actually did some crappie fishing and we caught a couple decent ones. We even caught some nice pike too. Cole just caught a freaking gino. What do we got here, brother? 14. <laughs> Not a bad one. On the set line? Uh, yeah, on a rattle reel shiner. No way. Yeah, five inch shiner. Choked just, it. Show me how thick he is. Oh my god. Just like a notebook. Back down. Yeah. See you, buddy. Oh. That was a little harsh, but he went. <laughs> nice and another huge shout out to my buddy Cole for cracking an absolute giant crappie. He had his permanent right next to mine, and uh, we had a blast. So besides getting on some pretty sweet fish in the evenings, uh, Steph and I, we played a bunch of cribbage and uh, we even played some cribbage against Cole's parents a little bit. And uh, things things are always up and down. It's like a roller coaster, you know what I mean? Uh, if you guys have ever played cribbage or you have any family card games that you play, it's like, seems like you go on a streak, you can't be stopped, you're win, win, winning. And, uh, and then all of a sudden it'll come back down and you'll start losing again. So right when we bought this house like a week ago, uh, I was winning. I was dynamite. I was on fire. And uh, this past weekend, Steph just she kicked my butt. We should probably open a window. So good fishing, good fun, great Saturday night. Um, we caught a majority of our crappies in pretty shallow water, but bouncing around the portables, We've been finding some fish are starting to push out a little bit deeper. If you live in the Midwest, some of those fish that might have been shallow in weeds, like the crappies, are now kind of starting to push out to the deeper breaks and even the basins, the big depressions in the lake. So the next day, my pals and I, we decided to lay cop, and in the morning, we decided we were gonna go chase around crappies in a basin, uh, and then later in the day, switch things up. All right, hot baits I found at the tackle store. An all white silky, some chartreuse jamies, these are super good, classic, and chartreuse silkies. It seems like these fish want a bigger profile, so I might double up, I might put a silky on, and then, put a Jamie on to kind of tip it. I'm using a big drop kick jig and we're just gonna freaking run and gun. Yeah, dude, I saw that. It's a big one, isn't it? I don't think so. Dude, if we stay on the fish all day, we'll catch a big fucking one. I know we will. That is a nice one. <laughs> hey, come up and eat yours. Maybe they want some wigglers. Up. Sam, just go get your freaking hub and set it up right over <laughs> us. <laughs> You want some wiggly? Oh, big, big. This might be blue death. Are you by the bottom? Don't, don't, Brooks, just don't touch anything. Big. Yeah. This might Come be on. a bluegill. No way. Yeah. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Nice job. <laughs> we should have had a little tape. I would have liked to tape him. So we chased those crappies around for a little bit and it, it was weird, even though the fish were kind of spookish, they wanted a bigger bait. They wanted that, that big chartreuse plastic and a big chartreuse silky. Uh, so we chased those around for a little bit and we decided, okay, let's switch lakes and try to go for something else. Oh, he'll eat. 
<laughs> Both of you. What? How? They probably just swam in a circle. That's a big perch too. Though. Yeah, dude. No, no, no. Oh, let's go. Oh, we're on the perch harvest. Okay, they're not here anymore. Let's just go find them. We drilled two holes, found them again right away. Boom. God, those are nice. Yeah, it is a nice one. Could be a gill. Could be a gill. It's a nice perch. Oh, big perch. Happy days. Wow. It is not every day. Augie Isaacson, Brooks Prohaska, Danny Beckius, Guide Service. Putting us on the freaking meat. That perch bite was sweet, um, very unique. In our area, it seems like there's a lot of bluegills and crappies, but not so much perch. You go out to the Dakotas, seems like it's the opposite. They don't have as many bluegills, but they've got sloughs and big lakes loaded with perch. So we were excited. Not a bad pike. Honestly, really fat. Fat pike. I just had a fat head on there, a clam blade spoon, and it is gone. All right, buddy, right back down to the drink. So we absolutely devoured some perch tacos. Uh, and then after that, we picked up the big house, the ice shanty, and we brought it to a brand new lake. And that's where I'm sitting right here. Basically, no scouting around on the spot. I didn't hit it in my portable. I haven't really scanned this spot open water. I just decided this is a cool little hump here. I drilled a couple holes, saw some weeds on top of the hump, and I decided, hey, we'll just plant down right here. And that's where we're at. So kind of a bummer, I mean, not really a bummer, but uh, I forgot cheese and I ended up kind of making it into an omelet. I just kind of folded it right on top of each other. I was gonna kind of scramble it all together, but it stayed together so well, I was like, ah, we'll just omelet it. Let's give it a shot. Very good. I was really hungry. I got up early this morning, shoveled the driveway, kind of packed up all my fishing gear, shot out to the lake. And like I said, it wasn't a crazy bite, but it was fun to kind of watch the sunrise and catch a couple fish. And now to kind of end the morning with a big all-American breakfast. Alrighty, that wraps things up for me. Thank you guys so much again for watching another video all the way to the end. Really quick, I wanna talk about two hot baits, not just from this past weekend, but the weekend before. The first bait that was hot, Steph basically outfished me two weekends in a row on this. A pink UV glow, 132nd ounce clam drop jig. I don't know if the crappies and the gills in our area are eating more bugs, but it seems like just the smaller approach and the UV pink really crushed them. Next, not just in the hard house, but I've been doing a lot of fishing in the evenings. A lot of them on set lines, but getting big crappies and some walleyes, and that's on the blade jig right here. This is Fire Tiger, but I've been having a majority of my luck just on the all white one. So yeah, I'll link those down below. Those have been kind of the baits of the week or baits of the weekend, and uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching the video all the way to the end. I'd really like to move this to a different spot and get on a hot bite and stay there for two or three nights of winter camping. So I've been doing a lot of fishing in the evenings, searching it out, uh, but thank you. Thank you, thank you again for the positive support and thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. I guess there's nothing left to be said and stay tuned. And as always, for the adventure video.
Oh my pretty babe, something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. Move ahead.